by traditional size and body style classification, but the MW6 series is now an outlier, it's bigger than all the Tudor luxury coupes, save the even larger, more expensive S-Class coupe from Mercedes-Benz. In the mid-size luxury segment, sales instead tilt toward fast-roofed four doors exemplified by the Mercedes-Benz CLS and the Audi A7, even within the 6 series range. The Grand Coupe four-door handily outsells the two-door and the convertible put together. You'll search in vain for a like size, two-door analog to this BMW 650i at the Audi, Lexus, Jaguar, Infiniti, or Cadillac stores. For 2016, BMW gives the six adaptive LED headlights, a grille with one fewer bar in each of the signature kidneys tweaks to the tail design that emphasize its width, and a dressier interior with handsome two-tone leather treatments. Those mid-term updates on the already pretty two-door aren't enough to send us to the test track. But, aha, the twin-turbo V8 now puts out 445 horsepower, 45 more than it did when we tested the Venu 2012 edition. The power bump came in 2013 while all eyes were on the M6. More power is always welcome, but the V8's output wasn't among the few nits we had to pick with the 2012 car. Some of those negatives remain on this 2016 model, and on recent BMWs generally, we're not fans of the obtuse shifter for the standard 8-speed automatic the dual-clutch 7-speed automatic and manual 6-speed alternatives are now reserved for the M6. The electrically assisted steering doesn't measure up to the high standards of tactile feedback that once defined BMW, and the soft, luxury car handling might bother us less if the sight of the roundel didn't set our expectations so high. None of that negates the reality that the 650i delivers a combination of style, performance, and elegance that's propelling sales well beyond Munich's smiled expectations. Runs hard, stops hard, at 4.1 seconds, this car was 0.4 second quicker to 60 miles per hour than was the 2012 version and it got through the quarter mile in 12.6 at 113 miles per hour that's moving the needle. At the test track, we noted that the standard launch control feature that usually outperforms human beings didn't do so. Managing it all manually gave us acceleration times 0.2 to 0.3 second quicker. The 650i is run flat and lob tires limited the top end to 129 miles per hour. 155 miles per hour is available on cars with sportier rubber. Braking from 70 miles per hour and 158 feet is autobahn worthy performance, and cornering at 0.89 grams, while decent, lends perspective to our subjective impressions of softness. The healthy amount of understeer noted on the skid pad was easily countered by power-induced oversteer. Intervention from electronic assistance is gentle and customizable, so it's easy to adjust your line through a curve with the gas pedal. This rear drive coupe's balance makes the strongest argument for the BMW over, say, an Audi A7 with Quattro, especially when the road gets interesting and the driver dials up sport mode. Dynamic damper control comes standard, as does the driver mode selector that offers a choice of five preset personalities Eco Pro, Comfort Plus, Comfort, Sport, and Sport Plus. Further tuning to individual tastes is available through the familiar iDrive interface's CAS settings menu accessible on the big center screen, but all the adjustments can vary only the weight of the steering, none add any feel. Tuning out the body roll and relatively lazy turn in by dialing up the sport settings brings out some ride harshness, but then this car lacked the $2,500 adaptive drive suspension option. Many toys, but not all, the iDrive controls on the console now include a touchpad upon which a moving finger may alight. 
Alternative activities to keep a driver's digits dancing include a new suite of apps for the infotainment system, assuming the customer is wise enough to have ticked the smartphone integration option box $200 leading us to ponder what potential 6 series buyer would say, no, I don't want that. That one item stands out because the list of standard and optional equipment on this car made a lot more sense, otherwise, than did the one we encountered in 2012. This car was, generally speaking, more lightly equipped no M Sport or Driver Assistance Plus packages. Although now that the current 6 Series has got a few years on it, BMW is keeping the car competitive by shoehorning in more standard content. A few former added cost features, heated multi-contour seats, for instance, are now included at no charge, so the value proposition improves despite the expected base price inflation. Still, there might be a market for a phone app that would help shoppers navigate BMW's complex options list. For instance, heated seats are standard, but there's a $400 cold weather package heated steering wheel and a ski bag for the pass-through in the center of the back seat. The tested car had that and also the $1,400 black accent package that brings fine line brown wood trim, 20-inch wheels, ambient lighting, LED fog lamps, and darkened exterior trim, the cabin also had $650 worth of ceramic controls that puts shiny black stuff on the console. It looked good next to the handsomely executed Cognac Black Napa leather. But that was it for the add-ons, bringing the bottom line to $91,500, or $15,000 less than the example tested in 2012. That older car also was more than 120 pounds heavier than this one's 4,247 pounds, another cost to consider when going wild on the options list. This 650i comes across as more of a luxury GT than a sports coupe, and that's largely down to its size and mass, not its performance. Customers choosing cars this large seem to want better rear seat access than you get with only two doors, and those who want only two doors typically are looking for a smaller, nimbler chassis. The Infinite IQ60 rides on a similar wheelbase to this 650i, but it's 9 inches shorter and at least one class down in power and price. At the large end of a still thriving group of two doors that includes BMW's own 4 Series, the Mercedes-Benz E-Class Coupe, the Audi A5, the Lexus RC, and the Cadillac ATS. The 650i offers a little more rear seat and cargo space and more power than do most of these smaller cars excluding the AMG, S, and V performance models in keeping with its emphasis on comfort and style over agility. It's a bit of a throwback to personal luxury coupes that have gone away, although there's talk of upcoming contenders like the Lexus LC. For now, though, the 650i is nearly as attractive as the two-door class or BMW's i8 but far less expensive than either. It's sitting in a sweet spot, all alone.